This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Everyone will be provided a safe transit as soon as possible. We all do what we must, just to survive, just to exist. When our society started to collapse, I was prepared. My underground shelter was filled with food and supplies, but that was years ago. Nothing's left now. I have no idea what awaits me at the surface, but I can't stay here. All I know is that there's supposed to be an evacuation site to the east. I need to get there. I need to escape this wretched island. And welcome to Dismantle from Ten Tons. This game's been out for a little while, but I have only uh, just recently gotten around to playing it. And I gotta say, it's pretty enjoyable from what I have played so far. And I'm a little thrown off because the last time I was playing, I was playing on my Steam Deck. But based on the mouse cursor that I, I think you can see, yeah, I see it. Uh, I'm playing mouse and keyboard right now, and maybe this is a better one for controller. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I didn't mean to sit, actually. I meant to just drop these items off. So clearly this is a post-apocalyptic game, and the survivor here has just uh, emerged from his hideout to see what is going on in the world, and has a crowbar that basically one can use to destroy basically everything. So our first mission is to find some scrap metal, some scrap wood, upgrade the crowbar, and then get rid of the dresser here so that we can proceed onward into the game proper. So let us do that. We shall sit at the campfire, which kind of has an interesting mechanic to me too. Let's go ahead and upgrade our gear and we shall upgrade the upgrade or send the crowbar. Excellent, all right. So crowbar went from 12 to 16 damage and probably some attack speed and other things. I didn't pay attention that much because I want to get a move on. Because now, look at this, we can destroy this table that we didn't do any damage to before, as well as this dresser that's in the way, as well as this... Hi. The way is open to proceed forwards. Yes, yes it is. All this stuff here. The only kind of downside to this game is it is a little tedious in terms of you're basically doing a lot of this stuff. You're basically bashing the crap out of everything because, you know, if you're if you have any sort of uh, I don't know a compulsive sort of personality, then man, you're just gonna feel like you gotta just stop and hit every stupid thing along the way, which you know really is annoying. But at the same time, it kind of pays off to get some of these guys back here because that gives you a few more materials that if you skip them, well, it's gonna take you a little longer to find the upgrades necessary to be able to upgrade your crowbar again. And really, as far as I can tell, it's about upgrading your crowbar as quickly as you can. Because that basically, you know, on top of just plain doing more damage, it effectively opens up more of the game. And who doesn't want to play more of the game, right? That's kind of the whole point we play these. I mean, whoever was in this house, they had it fortified pretty darn well. I mean, I guess this is, you know, player character here. His, presumably, former house. We can go ahead and... Ooh! We can break that cooking pot. How about that? Uh, we don't have what we need to cook any recipes. But we are eventually going to get there, I, I presume. are outbound. Please keep calm and wait for the maintenance. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Okay. Uh, one thing, if I have one slight issue with the game is the camera control. It's just a little funky. It's actually better on controller because you can more easily move things around. I think what I'm going to do is change my camera settings so that I can control with my mouse buttons rather than having to press the mouse button, the center mouse button in and then move around because, you know, I imagine like most people when I hit the center mouse button, I'm using my left finger, my index finger instead of my right one, but I don't know. I guess I could be 
smarter and learn new tricks. That way I can still do this, you know, but nah, that's just too much work for me. Okay, we'll take all this stuff and then can go ahead and open the door here. Ex-human scrapper, a melee-oriented ex-human that finds strength in numbers but is relatively harmless by itself. Note her hands and feet and face, just in case you hadn't noticed the face. Uh, I want to say there is a... maybe there isn't a crouch button, but just the same. I know you can sneak up behind him and hit him like that to do extra damage, so that's kind of cool. You can get a, a sneak attack going on. Um, let's go, let's see, so western gate is to the left, eastern gate is to the right. And I'm just looking around right quick here, just getting our bearings. Uh, there's people over there, so let's not go over there just yet. Instead we'll go over, actually here, let's read this guy. Hold down, power attack, blah blah blah, yeah. Okay, we got that, we did a power attack, that was, that was what we did as a matter of fact. So let's go over to this one. We're going to light this fire. So as I said earlier, there's kind of an interesting mechanic with fires in this game. And I'm intentionally sitting right there because I want to show you what it is. If you know the game, then you already know what happened when I, when I sat. But if you don't, then you will now know, oh, wait a minute, this uh, zombie human thing is back again. Yeah, it's a little bit uh, Souls-like in that way. You sit and you respawn the enemies until you get to the point where you can prevent them from respawning, which, you know, requires a little bit of work. Some items, some uh, exploration, some leveling, all the sorts of things that you would expect from any good game that is RPG-ish and rogue-ish. Rogue-like-ish? I don't know. Whatever. Either way. So we're being told to go to the east, but for right now, I kind of want to stop and collect a bunch of materials first, just because these are going to pay off in the long run if we start collecting a few of these things now. Don't need this plastic chair, for instance. And I don't think... Oh no, we can get this one. What do you know? I see an enemy there roaming around in the, in the forest. Got a doghouse here, and there's no one there. Now, I'll be honest. Let's see, find a map at the Link Tower, upgrade your backpack, and level up. Okay, so that is our next goal, our next uh, priority, is to do all those things. The doghouse, I think, might be related to DLC. So we've leveled up, we got a skill that has been gained. Inventor 1 enables inven inventing and... In <laughs> It enables inventing and crafting at campfires, so let's invent something. So we have our backpack here. Um, do we already have a backpack? We don't have a backpack. We have a backpack, okay. Uh, cooking pot, that's a new thing over here. We don't have the ceramics for it, and we don't have the plastics for throwing knives. So... Now level two, we've done a thing. And here, let's go check this guy. There's some plastics right there, and we're going to go grab a little more. Oops, I kind of messed that one up. Okay. I mean, it's not too bad to avoid these guys. I don't know about later enemies, but so far, what I've seen of these little enemies, they're not that bad. They're not a big deal. It's pretty easy to just kind of, you know, step back, take a swing, step back, take a swing, and you're pretty much okay for the most part. Can we upgrade our backpack? Uh, we can, so some plant matter and some scrap fabrics. That's going to allow us to carry more slots and more things in those slots. So we need more plant matter, more wood, more fabric to upgrade it again, and then we should be able to... Crap, we used the, all the things there. Okay. I thought we had everything we needed, but uh, we used that in upgrading the backpack, and that's fine. Here, we'll get some more plant matter, because we know we need some of that anyway. Much as I'm loath to run around bashing all these things, trying to collect all of it. Yep, yep, we'll get up to 20 in just a minute. That zombie thing, there you are, how you doing? Just going 
gonna run you around the table. I'm just middle clicking on it to do a target lock. In case you're wondering where that's coming from, that's me doing a middle click. Okay, we're just gonna bash all these things here. Ooh, look at that, I found some tomatoes in the fridge. If we had a cooking pot, we might be able to do something. Ooh, there's a cooking recipe. Two out of three tomatoes. So we're not quite there yet. We need a, another tomato, and then we'll be able to make ourselves a nice soup. So let's go put this stuff away. So that we can collect some more stuff. Here, we'll just throw those in right away, too. I'm not even going to mess around. And we'll grab the rest of this stuff, see what we got going on in here. I just want to be able to have the camera be more like behind the shoulder rather than over the top or isometric. But it's not meant to be that kind of game, so, you know, it's one of those things where you just gotta get used to disappointment because trying to play the game in a way it's not meant to. Although it does make me wonder if there are any mods that add that as an option because that might be kind of fun to play that way now that I have said that. I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll look into that and see if I can find a mod that'll let us do like proper third or first person, because I think that might be kind of cool. I imagine there's nothing set up in terms of a ceiling and roofs and all of that. So things might kind of fall apart in that way, but still, it kind of sounds like a fun idea to me. Okay, let's go ahead and drop this stuff off and then we'll just take a sit again. Campfire restores your health, but also respawns the monsters. However, there's a way to stop the monsters from coming back. Yes, we are aware of that, or at least that they keep coming back. Still don't have enough plastics. Invent the Link Tower Toolkit and install deadly transmission to a Link Tower. That's going to allow us to stop monster respawning. That is going to be our next plan, our next uh, thing to do, in addition to finding the map, which we still need to go do that. So we'll do that in just a moment. I wanted to grab a few more things from here because we do have another one of these guys in here. Madam. There you go. Give you a little power attack action. And then we'll take that cloth from you because we do need that. I don't know what we got there. Ooh, another tomato. Excellent. So now... We just need to make the cooking pot, and then we can get some, uh, maximum health. Now oh, look at that, some free experience. Destroyed 100 objects of any kind. Uh, that might... I wonder if that's, um, specific to the save or what, because... I mean, if it's not obvious, I have played a little bit before, but not a ton. I played enough to go, yeah, I think I like this game, I want to play it a, a little bit more, and I think it'd be fun to play on the channel. That's kind of how I roll, like tend not to go into games blindly, because, eh, you know, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't feel like I'm gonna, then I won't. I'm not gonna be able to pick up any of this stuff, but that's fine. It'll be here waiting for us when we get back, because we're just gonna go drop off all this stuff right quick. I think if you sit, the stuff that's on the ground to be picked up doesn't go away. I'm not 100% positive, but I think that is the case. If you sit at the campfire... So here, let's just store all that stuff, and then we'll run our way back. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Make sure we're picking up all the things along the way. I don't know if we have enough metal to make the cooking pot, but I would definitely like to do that. I have a bad habit of running past the things instead of picking them up. It's kind of annoying. Hi, how you doing? That other one's going to join the fight here. Oh, I wasn't ready for you to start swinging that weight. That kind of messed with me a little bit, actually. Like, seriously, I wasn't ready for that. It's like, oh, wait a minute, you're you're not moving just yet. Okay, got it. Destroy that plastic box. Let's go ahead and get a table and the chair over here. This will give us the plastics we needed for the throwing knives. So we can go invent those. And then we'll just run around here and see if we can bash good old mailbox. Oh yeah, that's good stuff there. Got some wood, got some metal out of that. 
All right, let's take a sit. I guess I didn't need to put it in the box first. It would have automatically done that when we sat. Minor details, invent the throwing knives. There you go. So we got ourselves a throwing knife and then got the Wink Tower toolkit, which is a level seven over here. So that kind of tells you that, yeah, it's going to be a minute before we can get around to doing some stuff. Go ahead and make the cooking pot now. So some scrap metals and ceramics. And then our next stop, I wonder if we can get rid of this hockey net. No, we cannot. Is to go in here. And uh, we can just close the door and cook. So cooking and eating gives permanent upgrades to various stats depending on the dish. The survivor doesn't have to eat to stay alive. It's my kind of survival game. Uh, so we'll click those guys in there. We'll do a cook and eat. And then there you go. Max hit points plus five. Now I'm... What I'm not sure about is, do you get, if we were to make one of those again, do we get five hit points, five max HP again? I don't know. I haven't found enough tomatoes to know the answer to that question. Okay, let's go see what we need right now for upgrading the crowbar, because I would love to be able to do that. Perfect. Look at that. 1% crit chance, power attack damage is up 84% now. And then this is probably going to be enough to get rid of the hockey net. I like these people. They have hockey equipment. It's good in my book. Can we break? Yeah, I didn't think we were going to have enough to do that. But I think we might have enough to get the fence. Now, I don't know if you really want to destroy the fence because there's a part of me that thinks that could be useful to have the fence just kind of lying there in case you need to, you know, I don't know run around stuff like even maybe having the table is not a bad idea and we still oh i forgot to hi i forgot to check something in the bathroom here let's go check that out then i see the the thing there hi um search yes please oh, all right and doors open both directions okay good to know so we need to go east here so let's go ahead and start working on that um how you doing Oh, man. That was brutal. And we have a car we can check. Let's do that. Some ceramics. Mm, cannot check this car. I was wondering if maybe if we got rid of all that stuff, if we would then be able to check it. But alas, no. So we'll turn on this link tower and see what this does for us. Green lights are coming away. That's good. Oh, look at that. We got a little bit of a map. Acquired map for the... I uh, missed it. Located some nearby link towers. That gives us some directions to go. Is it Carpnaum? Carnaum? Capernaum. Okay. Um, can we open the east gate? It is sealed until nearby threats are removed. Okay. So, oh, interesting. Look at that. We got ourselves a mini-map now. And the mini-map does show where enemies are on it. That's kind of cool. I like that. This is the start of a long journey, but thankfully the basics are in place now. I mean, I guess. Oh, man, yeah. Two hits. That's great. Level up, return to the campfire. Uh, do we get skill points and things? I don't know. I don't remember if that's a thing, and I don't remember seeing that, so I'm going to assume no for the moment. Looks like if you hit the cars, you don't have to worry about them going off. If you played Seven Days to Die, you know what I'm talking about with police cars. I'm just saying. We'll bash this guy. Um, nope, we cannot do that. Is there a campfire nearby? That would be very handy if there were a campfire nearby. Something that... And here, let's investigate that. Pizza! Eat it with green cheese. I want pizza too. Uh, pizza doesn't sound bad, actually. I mean, I wasn't necessarily thinking about pizza, but it doesn't sound bad. So that is not where we came out of. We are almost at the point where we can one-hit KO these guys. And then let's check this out. Uh, requirements not met. Reach level 5. So return when the requirements are met. Okay. Interesting. And we'll just bash away all these things. Cannot pick up any of those. That's great. 
And cannot pick up that either. Perfect. So we'll leave all that stuff lying on the ground. Excellent. We'll take that as well. Um, I would like to be able to spin that guy. That's great. Okay. I'm just kind of, you know, filling in some gaps here. But here, let's go drop everything off first because really shouldn't just be running around like a weirdo. I mean, we have tons of materials just lying around, like all the stuff over, uh, where was that? It's like right back here at the basketball court. So you know, we'll pick up all those guys. But I do want to get these trash cans too. We'll check in just a second and see where we are with the rest of our upgrades. We haven't even used the throwing knives yet, by the way. Uh, I forget how we use those. I mean, I'm sure it said how to do it, but... Um, nope, I don't need you to drop anything. Okay, I don't remember. I didn't pay attention. My bad. Um, where are we at? Over here. So, let's go take a sit at the campfire. So, level up, and... Oh, we get to choose a new skill. Material carry slots plus one. Throwable damage versus monsters plus ten percented. Plus 10%, not percentage. And search efficiency plus 20. Increases chance of finding extra materials versus carrying more. Hmm. I don't know what I would rather do. Run back and forth less or find more stuff. Part of me wants to just carry more so I don't have to keep running around as much. Um, but it seems like finding more... Maybe is a good way to go because uh, you can always upgrade things. Like, see, we're pretty close to being able to upgrade the backpack. Not very close to upgrading that. Oh, you can upgrade the cooking pot as well. We have some new inventions here. We can upgrade or invent the baseball cap. A simple hat that provides a limited protection against head damage. It does give us additional throwable damage and damage block. Okay, sure. We'll find more materials. That gives us some armor. That's great. And our throwing knives can be upgraded. Sure. Uses are automatically replenished when you sit at a campfire. There you go. See, I guess, um, yeah, that's what I thought it was. But it wasn't doing it, so I don't know. Maybe I didn't do a thing. A bag of blood or fresh reserve of blood to keep hemoglobin levels stable. Max hit points plus five. But we need some plastics to be able to take advantage of that. So here, just to kind of show off the throwing knives. Um, well, let's see. Let's go this way because we don't need to go mess with a zombie type creature thing. We've messed with a bajillion times. There's the throwing knife. I mean, I didn't see how much damage it did, but that was pretty good if it was a one hit KO. I mean, seriously, that was pretty darn good. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with the results on that one. So let's go ahead and bash these guys down because we need more wood. This is going to leave us with seven to go to get another backpack upgrade. I mean, that was kind of my thought there is, oh, wait a minute, how do we get to you? How do we get up there? Can I climb? Can I... We need a rope or something. Maybe a hook so we can draw that thing down, pull it down, something. Yeah, there's no jump button as far as I can tell, so it's just you roll. You keep rolling, 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 which, I mean, that's fine. It's better than nothing, I guess. One of these days, I'll remember to use it. Eventually, this one's going to hear what's going on. I wonder if you're auto-targeting. I think you're doing some auto-targeting. That's fine, too. I don't mind that. For now. At some point, I might, but for now, it's cool. Uh, we definitely need ceramics, so we're happy to pick up that stuff. Curious if that zombie creature thing is going to burst out of the bathroom or not. Oh, I guess it's every time I'm hitting the middle mouse button, I don't even have to click on it. I just hit the middle mouse button. Thinking of building your private underground shelters, I say this. Is that really something that will help your neighbors? Or is it an act of pure selfishness? Something that only a snake would do. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. I mean, kind of got a point there. But sometimes, uh, you know, you just got to take care of yourself. 
kind of depends on the situation, you know? Here, let's go drop off all this stuff. Can we destroy this guy now? So that we can get in and out a little faster. And then this guy, hi, how you doing? Just gonna throw that knife at you. 64 damage, that's pretty solid. And, oh, I wasn't planning on sitting, so I guess I didn't need to use those. I was thinking, eh, we're just gonna sit, but no, I actually don't want to sit just yet. Because we, you know, killed a bunch of dudes over here. So let's maybe not sit to refresh them. Seems like that's probably the correct course of action. Thinking now that we need a bunch of wood, maybe it does make sense to get rid of all of these fences. Okay, that not a zombie is going to come over here in a minute. Oops. Here, let's make sure we get enough wood that we can go back and upgrade our backpack. It's just going to make life better. More carrying slots. Or, yeah, more, more capacity within the slots. Either way. Alright, how you doing in here? Oh. Sorry, I missed you. I didn't mean to miss you. Feel bad about that. Alright, we need to... Gosh, we need to go drop this crap off again. I mean, maybe I should have taken back right, because this is kind of redonkulous. And you know, look at this, it's just one thing after another. Oh, we cannot... <laughs> cannot get the signs yet. Those are still a little too beefy. Okay. I mean, we're not that far off from the upgrade, because... Here's a bunch of the ceramics we needed. We got our first, uh, scrap that, uh, scrap electronics, damaged inners of electronic devices of all sort. Uh, so we cannot get that guy yet either. Okay. Here, we'll just sneak up on this guy and, oh, bash away. Perfect. Perfect. And then how are you doing over here? And what do you say? Southern Passage has been closed by ISDF Decree 1378.2. Well, I recall that we need some more plastics, so let's definitely grab those. It looks like there's a passageway we can go through over here. We still need more cloth for the backpack, by the way, and we are kind of tracking materials. Killing four more not zombies would give us the cloth required. Had we not made the hat, we would have actually been fine. That was that was the problem, but it's okay. It's not that big a deal. Really need a closer fireplace box than that one, so we gotta work on that. I'm sure there's another one around somewhere, and I just haven't found it yet, but it's okay. Here, let's go run back here and see what we've got going on in here. Oh, perfect. That's going to give us uh, some more cloth. Okay. Oh, you didn't drop cloth. Interesting. I think they almost always drop cloth, or at least that's what I've been seeing. Weird. I don't mind, I guess. I don't know. I mean, we can use all the materials. Ow. You finally did a double swing again, and I fell for it. Yeah, see, there's the cloth. Just kind of going wide here, just to make sure. I'm also trying to see if there's... Oh, hello. How you doing, sir? I'm going to ignore you. Yeah, I'm perfectly okay with that decision. We'll ignore that guy for now. We don't need to mess with him. But I do want the plastics. And the cloth. Excellent. That'll work. And then here we go. Here's another fireplace. Oh, that's... that's bogus. I don't appreciate that, but I do appreciate you handing over the last cloth we needed to upgrade our backpack. So here, let's, let's get rid of all this stuff right quick, just because I think this is going to get us pretty darn close to the 
upgrade we need for the... I want to call it pickaxe for the crowbar. I think this last little bit of ceramic might end up being enough here. We'll just drop that off in there and then let's see if there's any more ceramics in here. I mean, at the very least, as soon as we can take care of toilets, that'll, that'll kind of solve our problem. Didn't mean to do that. Get rid of the toaster. Thank you for that. Okay. Let's see where that leaves us. Oh, hold on. There's... There we go. Just a little bit more stuff there. And then we'll just take a sip. I know there's a, a quest thingy that we need to look at. I, I'm aware of that. Here, let's go ahead and upgrade our backpack. So extra slot and space per slot has been upgraded. Wow, we need hides now. Fabric, hides, and plastic. Oh, and we can upgrade the cap. That's interesting. Oh, we actually need two more metal for the... Dang it. I thought we were right there. I thought we had all the metal we needed. So invent a cooking pot, cook any food recipe, and craft throwing knives. We'll take that. And shockingly enough, we've already done all those things. Oops, totally wasted the throwing knife there. So quest completed because we've already done all those things. I need two metal. Let's see, where would you be if you were metal? Right outside, actually. Here's, here's one. Oh, and here's two. Because we don't even need to hit the mailbox anymore. Oh, look at that. That actually gave us two. Perfect. So there. That gives us just a very slight plethora. Excellent. We'll take a sit, we will upgrade our gear, and we will catch up on the next one with an upgraded crowbar that now does 20 damage and will let us destroy some additional things that we could not destroy before, like this couch. Catch you next one, Dylan. Thanks for watching. See you later.